Hello guys, welcome back. And this girl doesn't really even need an introduction. The queen of equestrian YouTube. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is Esme. Hi. Welcome to Australia. Thank you. So you've been in Adelaide three days now for yes. a day? I kind of arrived halfway through yesterday. So yeah, today's kind of the first day of me walking around, getting my bearings. So, yep. Yeah. How are you liking it so far? Oh, it's been really great, thank you. I've been enjoying the warm weather and the dry weather as well compared to the wet and rainy and cold England. I bet. So, <laughs> yeah. It's also so beautiful here as well. I've seen loads of like the purple blossom, which is really yeah. different to back Homes, so. No, you've come at a really nice time of year, definitely. So in today's video, we are actually going to be going head to head. Yes. <laughs> we are going to be doing a style battle, a friendly style battle. Yes. <laughs> but basically, I'm going to be picking an outfit for Esme and Casper, and she's going to be picking one for me and Peach, and then you guys get to pick which one you think you love the very most. So to welcome you, I have a little bag of goodies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so these are all um, just classic Australian snacks. Nice. Uh, Caramello koalas. Oh, have God. you had one before? No, I haven't. They look They're really amazing. cool. They're amazing. You really Very like Aussie those. koalas. Nice, thank you. <laughs> um, another classic that I'm sure a lot of Australian children had in their play lunches. Shapes and barbecue because that is the only good flavour. Thank Enjoy you. Those. Ooh, these are cool. Uh, a somewhat controversial Vegemite. Now I know. I've had you've... Marmite before, but not Veggie Okay, cool. so, so I think I'll like it. Yes. So the key is you've got to have just a, a little, little bit. bit. Yes. <laughs> I have this literally every day. True blue Australian. Oh, Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, the visit would not be complete to Australia if we didn't go oh, to Horseland. <gasps> I'm so excited. So, that <laughs> thank is cute. you. So we do just want to say a huge thank you to Horseland for supporting this video and letting us have the run of their trade stall at Adelaide 3 Day. Um, be sure to go and check them out. They have a huge range of amazing products. So thank you Horseland. Thanks. <laughs> so who wants to go first? Oh, I might need a little look around first <laughs> at the side because, you know, the pressure is on. The pressure is on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are in the Horseland tent. My small conundrum is I'm in two minds about what to do with Esme's outfit. She's very, she's good. She wears a lot of bright colors and she has her gray horse Casper who is much easier to dress than Chestnut Peach. I kind of want to dress her in what I would wear as something a little bit different because you guys know me, I am very like monochrome, navies, not really any bright colors. So I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll like style her that way, but I think I know what I'm going to get. How my uh, tie-dye saddle pad was supposed to look. Didn't really achieve. Achieve, did I? Probably should have just bought one. <laughs> Quite neutral, so black and white, but then with a little pop of colour as well. Because I know that Anne usually goes some more neutral colours. She wears a lot of navy, so I kind of steered clear of that because I wanted to go for something a little bit different, get her out of her comfort zone. But at the moment, I'm just kind of having a look around and see if I can find any accessories to match. Alright, I think I think this is the top that I want to get at. 
I think I'm gonna go down the Navy path. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> That's so cute though. Okay, alright. Okay. Am I changing my mind? Am I changing my mind now? Keep it down. No. I'm having a last minute change of mind. Um, I think I'm gonna change the colour of the breeches. That's okay. That's an outfit. Alright, now we need a saddle pad. So this is gonna be the thing that really like ties it together. So this is the key. I have to pick a good saddle pad. I feel like I've got like colour options going. I think they're probably my absolute favourite. I'm torn guys, it's, it's like the pale or the burgundy. I don't know. I wish you guys could tell me through the screen right now which one to go for. Oh, something's telling you to go for this one I think. I got my enemies in the dark, I can see the How yep. did you go? It was a bit more difficult than I was expecting, actually. Yeah, I know. Because, like, there wasn't many things that matched exactly. They were just like slightly off, and I didn't want it to be like slightly off. I wanted it to look really good. Really I know. Fresh, I know. So. You're very matchy matchy is very important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had to get that matchy matchy on point. Yeah, I do it perfect. <laughs> All right. So originally I thought I might go in more of like a monochrome black darker outfit because you know me. I'm not the biggest on bright colours, but yeah. I'm going in a different direction. I do love my greys. So yeah. I hope you do as well. Yeah. I just couldn't go past this. I don't know what Yeah, it just looks it. really cool. It does it's look like cool. It pops out like 3D. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, yes, like yeah. I have to get yeah. that. Um, to go with that, a grey pair of Dublin breeches. Mm, um, nice. Very stretchy. These are really, really comfortable. And I thought the grey was quite nice. And then this, I couldn't go past. <laughs> A spooks hoodie. I know you guys are about to go into winter. Yeah. We can't wear so, anything like this down here right now. Yeah. But you can wear it for me. Yes. <laughs> um, I, love I love the sequins as well. Cool. It's so cool. <laughs> I was worried. I know not everyone likes sequins. Yeah. So, so there's that. I feel like it's cute but subtle. Like, kind of thing. Exactly. It's not too in your face. You're not like trying to bring Barbie yes. vibes. Yes. Like. <laughs> Still nice, and then, like I said, I know you're matchy -matchy. all about the matchy match. So I had to go for this, and I think that the actual tones yes, they match pretty well. Yes. So I thought like that's gonna look so nice in Casper as well, especially like being all like autumnal and wintry and things. Exactly. Like, that is the exact vibe I was going for. Thank you. Okay. So oh, wait. Yeah. Oh wait. I've got one more. more. I've got one more. <laughs> I could not go past these socks. They are so sparkly so cool. and the pink matches the pink on the spook shirt yeah. so it's so yeah. hard to match the yeah. vibe so I hope you enjoy oh. <laughs> That's so cool. I'll go with the socks first because <laughs> yeah. I chose the same socks because I thought especially with Christmas coming up as well <laughs> like the sparkles it will be absolutely perfect and then I've got it for the navy as well because I was looking through and I wanted to go for something that you would like but there's something a little bit out of your comfort zone yes. so I know you wear a lot of navy 100%. a little bit of baby blue <laughs> so what I've gone for is I've gone for quite neutral colours but then like a little bit brighter so we'll start with the breeches because they're black you know these breeches will go with everything I love and already. yeah I thought they looked pretty fancy as well they have the sticky bum they have the like sock bottoms they're nice and stretchy and I thought yeah these might be good for like clinics and things and then they also have little detailing on there so I thought those would be quite cute. The pocket. The yes. Oh my god I can't wait okay. to try them on. And then this was where like I was struggling with the matchy matchy so I thought <laughs> you know what I saw this top and I was actually trying to get a blue saddle pad to match but I couldn't find one but I just couldn't get away from this top because I thought because you know it's Australia it's going to be really warm coming up to summer mm -hmm. and I thought this would just be so nice because it's like a light airy colour because obviously the sun will reflect off it it's got the SPF or the UV oh, kind of thing cool. and then um, I've gone for a little bit of colour yes. just because I, you know I'm going to bring you into the colourful side <laughs> so I thought you know it's just got a little bit of colour under the armpit so I thought that would be really nice it just looks really airy oh, and like comfy as well it does and then to go with it I went for a white saddle pad to match because I thought 
I know most people have a white saddle pad, but because they do get quite dirty, you have a spare one just yes. in case. Mm -hmm. And also, it's got like the little airy bit on the top as well, so I just thought it would be really nice for the hot Australian weather, so I hope you like it. <laughs> What's funny is I actually bought this exact saddle pad the other week. No way! But it went through a tie-dye process that I can now uh, not reverse. Yes. <laughs> So yeah. I'm really happy that you bought me another one because I actually need a white saddle. Yes, so Apparently. you've got one now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so should we go and try everything on there? Yes, time for a trial. Yes. So here is the outfit, here's the reveal. I'll do a little twirl. There we go. I'm actually really loving this hoodie. I think this is going to look so nice, especially with all the winter berries out in England at the moment. Just so nice. Also, the inside of this is so fluffy and comfy as well. This is going to be absolutely perfect for keeping me warm on those chilly days. And then also, these leggings fit like a glove. They're so nice. And also, the grey as well is just going to go with everything. So I can pair these up with lots of different outfits. And I feel like the leggings would be also really great for just like a chill day at the horses at home. Um, for like when I'm doing editing as well because I could literally just like wear them just like normal leggings really as well so that would be brilliant and then we've got the matching saddle pad so put it on our little horse demo here so yeah here is the completed look Alright you guys, this is my final look as chosen by Esme. I personally love it. These breeches are so me. She did so well. The top is so light, it is so comfortable, I cannot even explain. And considering it is about to be very warm in Australia, this is going to be a perfect addition to my equestrian wardrobe. The little touch of blue underneath is just like perfect for me, just a little bit, but not too much. And then of course, the little pop of colour, not too much colour, just a little pop. And the glitter is just very, very cute as well, very Christmassy. She also got me this beautiful weather beater saddle pad which goes so well with the outfit and I really needed a white saddle pad so I'm very glad she went for this one. Alright guys so we are now in our final outfit and now it is time for you guys to let us know how you think we went. Do you have one that you are loving a little bit more than the other one? Personally I am loving my outfit. I oh, I'm so happy. Think you might be the winner, but we'll see. <laughs> well, I really love my outfit as well. It's so comfy as I'm well. I'm so glad. <laughs> if for some weird reason you aren't already following Esme, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on my YouTube channel, This Esme, or my Instagram at this underscore Esme. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>